about parts of flower. I'm back with a new topic, parts of flower. In this video, we are going to discuss about all the parts of a flower, of a typical flower. So guys, what is the flower? Flower is the reproductive part of a plant. And we have eaten fruits and they have seeds. How do we get fruits and seeds? We get fruits and seeds with the help of flower only. So guys, we are going to discuss about the structure of a flower, a typical flower. Guys, a flower has four bulbs. Four bulbs. What are bulbs? Bulbs are circles which are above the thalamus, which are above a swollen, uh, swollen thing, which is known as thalamus. This is the thalamus. And above it, there are four circles, which are known as four bulbs. So guys, there are four bulbs which are named as calyx, corolla, and drusium, and gynesium. So what are these four bulbs? Calyx, corolla, and drusium, and gynesium. So guys, we are talking about calyx. What is a calyx? Calyx is the first bulb, first bulb and it is the outermost bulb. Okay guys, and it consists of sepals. Sepals are the green, green thing. They are of green colors. Sepals are of green colors and they protect the bud. They protect what? They protect the bud. When the bud is, when you have seen a seed, no, it has bud. And the bud is protected by sepals. Okay guys, so sepals protect the bud when it is in the bud stage. So our next, our next word is corolla. It is the second word. It is the second word, corolla, and it consists of petals. What does it consist of? It consists of petals, and petals protect the reproductive bulb. Reproductive bulbs are androsium and gynesium. So, corolla protects the reproductive bulb when the flower is in the bud stage. When the flower is in the bud stage, corolla protects androsium and gynesium. These are the reproductive part. And the sepal, the petals, the petals have colors, and they attract, they attract insects for pollination. So they attract insects for pollination with the, with the help of their color. So there are two functions of petals. The first one is that it protects the androsium and gynesium. These are the reproductive bulb, and the second one is that it attracts insects for pollination. Okay guys, so our next uh, our next word is androsium. It is the third word. It is the third word. And it is the male reproductive part of a plant. So what is androsium? Androsium is the third word and it is the male reproductive part of a plant. And it consists of anther and filament. What is filament and what, the, what is anther? So filament is a uh, small tube. Filament is a small tube and it has a tip which has anther. It has a tip which is anther. So anther is this and filament is this tube. Okay guys, so the anther has pollen grains. The anther has pollen grains which help in reproduction. What are pollen grains? Pollen grains are, they are very powdery, they are powdery substance. They are powdery substance. When you touch them, when you touch or break the anther, the powdery substance will rub off from your fingers. So, what are uh, pollen grains? Pollen grains are powdery substance which are inside the anther. And the filament, what is filament? Filament is the stalk. And they both are in the category of stamen. So, androsium consists of stamen and in the stamen, there are anther and filament. Okay guys? So, what is androsium? Androsium is the very reproductive part of a plant and it consists of stamen and the stamen has anther and filament. Okay guys? Our next topic is gynesium. So, gynesium is the outermost or oh, innermost bulb. So, gynesium is the innermost bulb and it is the female reproductive part of a plant. So it is the female reproductive part of the plant. It consists of pistil or one or more 
carpels. Pistil and carpels are the same guys. They are the female reproductive part of a plant. And so gynecium consists of pistil and carpels. One or more carpels. Okay guys. And they, and they consist of stigma, style and ovary. What the, what the carpel consists of? The carpel consists of stigma, style and ovary. Okay guys. What is stigma and what is style and what is ovary? Ovary is a flask like structure. Ovary is a flask like structure at the bottom of the carpel. At the bottom of the carpel, the flask like structure is known as ovary. And it is connected to a tube like thing, tube like structure, which is known as style. So, in style, it has a tip. It has a tip. The style is a tip. Which is known as stigma. So what is stigma? The tip of the style is known as stigma. And what is ovary? Ovary is a flask like structure which connects style and the tip of the style is known as stigma. So guys, uh, now we are going to discuss about unisexual flower and bisexual flower. What are unisexual flower and what are bisexual flower? So guys, all the flowers, all the flowers do not have all these four girls. But calyx and corolla, calyx and corolla are in both, are in all, are in all the flowers. They, they are in unisexual flower also, they are in bisexual flower also. In all the flowers you can see calyx and corolla. And the sepal you can see on the brinjal, the, the green like substance, the green like thing on the brinjal you can see at the top. So guys, now what is unisexual flower? Unisexual flower is a flower which has either androsium or gynesium. So guys, what is unisexual flower? Unisexual flower is a flower which consists of either androsium or gynesium. Calyx and corolla are in it. But we have to talk about androsium and gynesium. So unisexual flower is a flower that have either androsium or gynesium. Uni means one. So in uh, in both, one of them should be. So that flower is known as unisexual flower. And bisexual flower is a flower in which these all four worlds are there. In bisexual flowers, these all, calyx, corolla, and lucium and gynesium, these all worlds are there. So in bisexual flower, and lucium and gynesium, both are there. Okay guys, now, we have seen a china rose. China rose is a kind of plant which have both, which have both. It is bisexual flower. So, what is bisexual flower? What is an example of bisexual flower? China rose. And it has the, it has a staminal tube which consists of, inside the staminal tube, there is the style. So, the, it has both carpal as well as stamen. So, it is bisexual flower. And the and the staminal the staminal tube it uh, inside the staminal tube like this way it is the staminal tube and inside the staminal tube there it is uh, there is the style okay guys so the style is inside the staminal tube of a china rose okay guys so now we are going to about inflorescence what is an inflorescence you have seen a cluster of flowers. You see a cluster of flowers. They are arranged on the stem in such a way. They are arranged on the stem in such a way. They are in the cluster of flower, like this way. If it is, uh, uh, if it is this flower, okay. No, no. If there is a flower, and there is a cluster of flowers, there are more flowers. Then the arrangement is known as what is the arrangement known as inflorescence. So what is inflorescence? Inflorescence is the cluster uh, is the arrangement of the cluster of flowers on a plant. So what is inflorescence? Inflorescence is the arrangement of the cluster of flower uh, cluster of flowers on the plant. Okay, guys. And what is floret? Floret is the uh, um, in um, in inflorescence each flower is known as Floret. So what is floret? Each flower in an inflorescence is known as floret. Okay guys? Guys, if we have an ovary, when we cut the ovary 
at the vertical at the vertical side only so as we take a plant and we take an ovary and cut with a knife with a vertically side vertically downward side then we find small things which are known as ovule ovule are the small things which are inside the ovary and ovule develops into the seed and ovary develops into the fruit so thank you guys